Further discussion, Representative Williamson. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, to the bill. To the bill. Colleagues, it's a great pleasure to hear these stories about uh, two amazing Oregonians that we have the chance to send to Washington, D.C. for the millions upon millions of visitors to Statuary Hall. I was lucky enough to work for one of them. Um, I worked for Senator Hatfield right after graduating from college, and I couldn't agree more with Representative Gilliam's words that we have the ability to honor a modern pioneer today. Representative from the Christmas Tree District talked about rubbing elbows with famous people in D.C. while working for the boss or the senator or MOH or uh, however you called him. He had many titles. Um, but for the, working for the senator, uh, it was, yes, those things happened, but the thing that I remember most as a young staff person was that he had coffee with me once a week. And he would take policy ideas. I mean, he, it was, it, he was very professorial and would sit down and we'd talk, we'd talk about whatever you wanted. Um, but you could talk to him about policy and he took you seriously. Having graduated from college, you know, two weeks before, why wouldn't he take policy advice from me? Uh, so we, uh, I, was, I was lucky enough to work on health care with him. And um, as we all know, he served in the Pacific in World War II. And this was a time when he saw the devastating effects of hunger and poverty in the world. And he um, dedicated his life when he was there to focusing on improving the human condition. And it's not hyperbole to say that we have a healthier state and nation, and I would argue world, because he focused on health care and focused on improving the human condition. He said once that we ought to send in international armies of doctors, nurses, engineers, and technicians rather than deploying troops and defining national security in terms of megatons. Uh, he had a huge impact in my, in my district at OHSU. President Robertson has said Senator Hatfield was a man of conviction and vision. He led the charge to fund medical research and help transform OHSU into a leading health and science university. The School of Nursing, the Institute for Biomedical Research, the Hatfield Research Center, and the Sky Bridge that links OHSU with the Veterans Affairs Medical Center are all examples of investments he championed that have brought healing, teaching, discovery, and outreach to OHSU. And we will miss his wisdom and courage. During his tenure in the United States Senate, he sent $300 million over two decades to OHSU and the, and the Veterans Medical Center, making it the leading health care institution that it is today and one of Oregon's largest employers. And his impact continues in the Marco Hatfield Research Fellowships that are awarded every year to advance efforts in healthcare professionals conducting important life-saving research in Oregon and Washington. And so we know what he did in our state, but nationally and internationally, he had a huge impact on the work of the National Institutes for Health. And he said, NIH is an extraordinary example of a success story of what the government does right. And today, there's the wing at the NIH that bears his name, the Marco Hatfield Clinical Research Center. Actually, one of the reasons that he was so dedicated as well to medical research was watching his own father pass from Alzheimer's. And he said he marveled that we couldn't even diagnose Alzheimer's short of an autopsy just a few years ago. And we now dedicate two, $210 million to research Alzheimer's. We have made a breakthrough after breakthrough in both gene analysis and identification, as well as treatment and diagnosis. And that was one of the reasons that he spent so much time and energy, and ultimately, we invested so much as a nation into medical research. He also said that politics is nothing more or less than an exercise in human relations, and that political labels mean nothing in terms of trying to get people to focus on a need, such as health. Senator Hatfield had not only wanted to be remembered as somebody who served his state, but that he was somebody that made a small difference in relating to the quality of life of everyone. As one of the 20th century's leading voice on healthcare issue, issues and a champion on life-saving medical research, and Oregon's longest serving senator, Marco Hatfield, was an exemplary Oregonian, American, and a really great boss. I urge your I vote. Thank you, Representative.